police searching for an 18-month-old whose mom refuses to cooperate. Toddler Amir, missing since Thanksgiving, but nobody reports it. Mommy only turns up when she crashes her car, and first she says she doesn't even have a child. Straight out to Kevin Cohen, host WVOC, joining us out of Columbia. Kevin, they, they happen to find Mommy when she crashes her car. What happened? They find her. She ends up going to the hospital after crashing her car. They realize, hey, you're on a missing persons list. We're trying to find you. We're trying to find your baby. Where's your baby? She says, I don't even have a baby, Nancy. And then the nurse at the hospital says, oh, I think you do because that's a C-section scar. <laughs> so when she gets to the hospital because of her crash, she uh, insists she doesn't have the baby. Dr. Hua joining us, Dr. Jean Shea Hua, Hua from Union County. How obvious is a C-section scar? It's usually in the lower abdomen, I mean, the lower portion of the belly, horizontal, five or six inches long. It's obvious for a layperson. And, you know, doctor, there's no mistaking it, okay? You know what a C-section scar is, and this mom's trying to tell authorities she doesn't have a baby with a big, fat, honking C-section scar on her tummy? Come on! <laughs> it's, just, it's just so obvious. I mean, Kevin, back to you. Kevin Cohen joining us. He's a host on WVOC there in Columbia. How dumb does she think we are? That, that we don't know what a C-section scar looks like? I sure as heck know what it looks like. So, Kevin, first she tells cops, I don't have a baby. What baby? Where's the baby? Then what does your story change to? Well, let's remember, this is a 22-year-old who's obviously telling anybody that they that she talks to whatever they want to hear at the moment first she says the baby yes i do have a baby that baby oh uh, the baby's in atlanta and then we hear no the baby's with friends in charlotte then we hear well the baby might be with a father but then we hear that the father's not even involved with the baby so it's just been a different story one day after the next after the next and now she's sitting in a jail cell because of Good. unlawful conduct Good. I'm glad she's in a jail cell. Joining me right now, special guest, Chief Randy Scott, the chief of the Columbia, South Carolina Police. Chief, if it weren't for your motor men and women, we'd never even have this mom. We wouldn't even be on to baby Amir missing. This mom reported missing by her own mother. The grandmother reports her with the purple hair. That's mommy. I know, scary, but true. That's the mommy. The grandmommy reports her and the baby missing. It wasn't until mommy rams her car and crashes it that police find out she's not missing at all. But where's the baby? Chief, as I told you before, I don't care if it's for spitting on the sidewalk. I want this mommy behind bars. So what is she in for, Chief? Yes, ma'am. She's in right now for unlawful conduct towards a child um, until we can, you know, see what else is going on with this case. I mean, you, you've explained it very well, just as confusing as it probably sounds to your listeners, is even more confusing to us at law enforcement. Well, I'll tell you this much. I'm not confused, Chief Scott. It all boils down to this. She's lying. It's taught mom all over again. 